In this video, we will learn how to find points on a line in a coordinate plane given the ratio or the fractional distance. Here we can see there are lines over here and they have told to find a point D on line AB. See, this is the line AB. That is 3 fourth the distance from A to B. So 3 fourth means it's nearly close towards B point, somewhere over here, three parts. And over here, 3 fourth means somewhere over here. How do we find that? We will have to use the formulas which we learned in the previous question, the question number 13. But it's just that here there is x and y. x1, y1, the initial point. And the terminal point is b. So we write over here x2, y2. This is the only difference. We have to use the formula two times. Now what is the coordinate point over here? Let's count. 1, 2, 3 towards the left. Minus 3. y is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is x1 minus 3, y1 is 5. What about this x2? x2 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and y2 is on the axis, so it's 0. Now let's write the formula. It is x1 plus a by b. I hope you remember this. We had done this just a while ago. This is for the x, x coordinate. What about the y coordinate? Same thing, but it will be y1 plus a by b, y2 minus y1. Here the ratio is given, that is a by b. Now let's substitute, it's minus 3 plus 3 fourth into x2 is here, that is 5 minus of minus 3. And here, what about this one? I'll substitute it directly. It's 5 plus 3 fourth, that is the ratio. Sorry, it's the fractional distance. And here y2 is 0 minus 5. Now let's solve it up. Here we'll have minus 3. This will be, you can just put it in the calculator and get the answer directly. It'll be plus 3, it'll be 8. It's 4 1 time, 4 2 times. It is 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3. It'll be positive 3. That is the x coordinate. So 1, 2, 3, somewhere over here now. Let's see the, we can easily guess this is the y. Now what about over here? It's 5 plus 3 fourths of minus 5 by 2. It will be negative 15 by 4. Okay, so then we will add this up. Neg uh, 4 divided by 15 is 3 point uh, quarter less. It will be 7 5. It's minus 3.75. Over here we have 5. So subtract it. The answer will be 1.25. So you can see this is 1 and 1.25. Yes, that's correct. So this is the answer. This is the x value. That's the y value which should be equal to. So this is how we solve whenever we get a fractional distance in coordinate plane. So that would be the answers. It's 3 and 5 by 4 is 1.25. If you do it in calculator, you'll get directly 5 by 4. You don't need to do all these steps. Only the substitution and then directly in calculators, you get the answers. Now what about this one? I would highly encourage everyone pause the video now, try this one by yourselves because we have done the similar thing in the previous question, that is question number 13. Try it by yourself and then continue watching the video. I hope you have tried it, at least some of you have tried it. So here we have RS, that is this and this line. And we need to find a point Z such that the ratio is 1 is to 3. So one part Z rz will be one part and this will be three parts somewhere over there now do you, i hope you remember the formula it is n so this is m is to n the second ratio is first and then x1 plus m into x2 by m plus n this is for the x-axis now what about the y-axis the y-coordinate that will be same thing but instead of x1 we have to write y1 and over here it's y2 divided by m plus n. Now let's do the substitutions. It will be 3 into x1. Let's see, it's minus 1 and 1. So x1 is minus 1, 1. What about s? It will be 3, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, comma 2. So x is 7 and 2. So let's do x1 first. x1 is minus 1 plus now I have, oh yeah, I've written it correctly. I thought, okay, I was confused with the formula over here. It's m now and x2 is 7 
divided by m plus n will be 1 plus 3. Same thing over here, but all we do is this x1 and y1 is now with y1 and y2. So it's x1, x2, over here we have y1, y2. It's 1 plus m is 1 times 2 divided by 1 plus 3. And now we can put this in calculator and get the answers directly. It will be minus 3 plus 7 by 4. And over here we have 3 plus 2 by 4. So this is 7 minus 3. It's 4 by 4. That is 1. That is the x coordinate. And for y coordinate we have 5 by 4. Or that is equal to 1.25. Now let's see whether these are reasonable. One over here, yes, that is correct. It's about this. I assumed it was over here. This is wrong. One part, this much is three parts. And that is the answers. Let's just check the answers. Yes, that's the correct ones. Again, over here I have written in decimal, but you can write in fraction itself. Same thing, just the line changes here. Look, where is the line G and B? Sorry, A to G, A to B. A is over here, B the same one we had done before. Now we have to find a point G somewhere with the ratio of 3 is to 2. So same thing, the ratio is over here, only the x1, x2 and also the ratio is 2. Here they have asked us to find a point G on the line AB. So here this is x1, x1, y1, x2, y2 and the ratio M is to N is given as 3 is to 2. Please do the same thing, just substitute in this formula and find it in the calculator. So here is the methods and the last problem over here as well. It's just the line UE is used, this line, and the same procedure is carried out. Remember here U is the initial point. So this will be X1, Y1. This will be X2, Y. And here you have the detailed solution. That's the end of this topic. The last two questions, that's the question number 13 and 14 are very similar. So please remember the formulas and use it to solve both of them.